It's me, Mario. Oh, it's a me, Mario. Hello. Ooh, Undertale. Press start. Okay. Hey guys, welcome to that one Bob on Battlefield picture. I forgot what it's called. Picture of Bob on Battlefield. I think that's what it's called. Anyways, um, let's see. I can't. Move. Okay, hold on. I, I need to get used to the controls. Picture of Bob on Battlefield. Simple flips. Creep pasta. Rom hack competition by SNDBB. But first, credits. But thanks to Sip Flips from Hack Channel. Seriously, you guys all rock, especially Anonymous Moose and Rover. Yep, they are really good guys. I can I can attest to this. They are really good. Fendelli, please give her shout outs. My three playtesters are all coincidentally named John. Shout outs to Luhu and Little Tub for going through the hack and being awesome people in general. And finally, thank you to the man himself, Sim Flips, without whom none of us would have gathered here today. Great entertainer and all around lovely person he is. Hope you enjoy this, buddy. I'm not simple flips. <laughs> this hack is quite story based, so try to read as many text boxes as you can, and there are lots. Also, this is my first hack, hopefully it isn't too awful, haha. <laughs> there are no 100 coin stars in this game, and the last star is a secret finding star that hopefully doesn't suck. Gone, zongo, dongo, everything else will be explained when it's relevant. Without further ado, I'm stepping back from the mic and letting the game take over from here. Good luck. So this is first, wow, okay. We. There we go. Okay. That doesn't sound ominous. Ooh, Koopa the Quick's gonna be here. You read the sign. Howdy, I'm playing Pokemon Sleep at the moment, but come back later and I'll challenge you to a race just like the good old days. Koopa the Quick. P.S. Don't believe anything Rob Om tells you about me. That guy's a jerk. The words I hastily scribbled on is though written in a hurry. Okay. Hey man, what's up? Alright. Wow, Mario, is that you? What took you so long? We've been waiting for you for decades. I'm Robert Bomb, but you can call me Rob Bomb. I'm the leader of the Bob Bomb Baddies. Anyway, that's not important. It's great to see you. We've been trying our best to battle against the king and his army the past few years. And even though we've we've wiped out all of his forces, so only someone with arms can defeat the king, and Koopa's too scared to do it. Can you help us? Talk to Todd Om. He'll help you get to him. Good luck. Where's Todd Om? Did I just jump over the wall? I'd assume so. That's a lot harder than it looks. Okay, hold on. What is this? Oop. Oh, that opened the gate. Okay. Ow. What the hell? There's an invisible wall here. Alright, where's, uh, what's his name? Wait, there's another sign. I gotta read it. Oh, yeah. The name's Bill Billboard. I'm not- Oh, shoot. I just- Hold on. Hi, my name's Bill Billboard. I'm not really alive. Someone just wrote this message on me, and you're reading it. Talk to one of my friends to learn lore. What does lore mean, I hear? You ask lots of really important <laughs> information, of course. The last D is silent. Oh, okay, that makes sense. And we're getting shot at. Okay, that's great. Oh, let's push blocks. Flowers. Hey, man. So ever since my house was destroyed, I've been living out here looking for these be begonias. Lovely flowers, begonias. They're all, they're beautiful, aren't they? This one used to be such a beautiful place before the war changed everything. Fields of lush green grass, sunny blue skies. But it's all gone now, of course. The soil is barren, the sky is darkening, all life here is hanging on the edge of a precipice, waiting to fall. But looking at the flowers surviving, even after everything that's happened, it gives me hope. Maybe life will go back to normal soon. That would make me happy. Okay. So who's Bill or Rob? I forgot who was. Oh, what's this? What is this? Rest in peace, Jessica Job. Um, 1996, 2013. Died in the explosion that destroyed this very house. She is survived by her wife, Sally. Sob. Um, single yellow flower is placed atop the makeshift grave site. I can see that. Hey, man. Hello, I'm Edward, but most people call me Todd Om. I keep telling them that it should be Ted Om, but I just but I digress. If you're talking to me, it must be because you want to hear the legend of God's return and the prophecy of doom, yes? Hmm, you don't? Hurf, young people today don't care a jot about history, just like the that infernal Koopa. Hmm, was that old Bobby sent you? Aha, of course, I should have realized that once. Those arms, that mustache, you must be the great Gonzalo, champion of the Glitz Pits. Can I have your autograph? Hmm, you're not Gonzalo? I could have. Ah, you want to defeat the King Iron Balls for us, don't you? Well, give me a second, and I'll open a cannon for you. Who's Gonzalo? 
There you are, my dear chap. Nothing to it, really. Gosh, this takes me back to the very early days of the drafted war, uh, the dreaded war. I was a young black. I was young back then. And <laughs> my apologies. One does get lost in one's memory as one gets older. Good luck on your mission, and remember, don't be a stranger. I appreciate the company. Cheerio and bombs away. Hold on, before I bombs away, I see this sign over here. They say that God has many names: Edward, Javier, Javier, Jablinski, Poop Ass, and so on. But the one thing that all such disagree on is he is an almighty, all-powerful being. They say he moved like lightning and that he was a gra as graceful as a ballerina. They also say that he is the father of all of us, of us all, and that he abandoned us, his children, for our sins, and that one day he would come back. And when he died, and when he did, the world will end. Nobody knows if God really exists or not, or what will really happen if he retur ever returns. But let's just hope that if he ever does return, he is merciful. That's uh, is that a euphemism for something? There's no reason why that's there. there. It must mean something for later. Anyways, come on, big Bilbo. Where is he? Oh, there he is. All right, you stupid baboon. I'm already here. I knew this day would come eventually. We ought to have our time. Just look at this world. You don't understand. You very well. My last act shall be to tell a story. Once upon a time, there was a foolish king. The king wasn't content with a mere mountain and declared war to extend his kingdom's reach using the star's power. He fought on and on. But as time went on, the power of the stars to drain. One by one, the power stars lost their power. The power that gave these worlds and their people life died. Darkness spread. There were 120 power stars. Now there are but six left. Out of all of the magical worlds, only this grotesque parody remains. The warped plans of the foolish king, everything was lost. Eventually, the survivors managed to defeat the king's army, but could not defeat the king himself. So they built a wall, trapping the king for all eternity to think of his crimes. Look out there into the void. This world, too, is collapsing. The great cold will set in. The snows of death will fall, and all life will cease to exist. And it's all my fault. I'm ready now. You and me, you and I both know what we have to do. We've done this so many times, there's no other way. Maybe it's time, maybe it's for the best. I'm sorry for what I've done. I truly am. Alright. If in you say so, man. Here we go. Oh wow, just won? Thank you, my defeat won't save this world, but it will at least make the others happy. I'm truly sorry for what I've done. I've doomed the entirety of this universe for the sake of a petty empire and building. But please, can you do me one last favor? For a foolish king dot... A dying king. Uh, the stars, they've linked to us, to our very souls. As their, as their power faded, everything and everyone ha faded with them. But so few left in such a small area, gathering them up could be the key to saving this world. Or, or it, it could destroy. De oh, he, he can't finish the sentence. Robert Koopa, Sally Edward, this world, I'm sorry. He's gone. Oh, he died. So he's like, he kind of died on my arms or something. I don't know. But. Power star number one. Here we go. Wait, why did we die? What the heck? Okay. Oh, well, there's five now. Wait, the painting's more red. What the heck? Uh, I don't think it was that red. Ooh, snow. It's snowing. Koopa. Hold on, let me talk to everyone else. Hi Mario, thank you for beating King bob -um for us. I got rid of the door to this, to this base since there's no need for it anymore. Koopa's finally come out, why don't you talk to him? He'll probably ask you to race, so explore around first. You'll make everyone say, Hey, have you seen the snow? Isn't it pretty? It only started after you defeated the King Todd- The King. todd Arm seems to think it's a bad omen. But I think it's a good sign that everything's going to be okay after all. I mean, with the King defeated, it's all over, right? All thanks to you. He's got a good point. Did I never read this sign? See, the heart is the top. Oh, okay. It's just flowy. Maybe bear in mind for a happier and more fulfilling life. Give the fanfare. Hey, It's a sign different. I doubt it. But you know. Fair. He had. He told me about lore last time. Let's see if he. I can't get. I can't get to it. Hold on. Alright, do you want to talk more about lore? Oh my god, why is it so hard to read the sign? Hey, oh, it did change. Hi, it's me, Billboard. It's nice to see Koopa out of his uh, house again. He is, or was, afraid of the king. He's a good lad, you know? What? You should race him like he'll like that. Oh, and let him win at least once. He deserves it. Plus, he may have something fun to say afterwards. <sighs> no, I, I'm I'm a very competitive racer, so I don't think I'm going to let that happen. Well, now I know where the, where the race ends. La la la, it's getting cold now. The begonias have... 
I don't know how I don't know how I feel about begonias. I feel like I'm walking walking into some like ligma joke. Begonia dis I don't know. Begonias have a frosty sheen to them. It's quite beautiful. Don't you agree? I can't see them right now. They look the same. Hey man, what's up? Bye Jingo, you've done it. You defeat the king. We're all finally free. Well, I would say that if I didn't know the legends of God's return, I'd better fill you in. They said that when God returned, he would destroy the world and its people. They also said that his coming would be heralded by a great cold and darkness. The snow. It's filling the others with hope, but I'm not so sure what to believe anymore. My dear chap, you wouldn't happen to know anything about this, would you? Wait, the snow started because I defeated the... Am I God? Am I God to these people? Oh wait, this changed. The reason why... Why we are isn't is twofold. While the war itself was a big factor, God is a key to figure to blame. Many years ago, Bowser kidnapped Princess Toadstool and the Power Stars and used them to take over her castle. He gave the stars to his minions and had them wreak havoc across the entire kingdom. God was tasked with retrieving the stolen Power Stars and saving the princess, but he didn't do that. He used his powers to save the princess quickly without a single star. He had completed his task in record time, leaving the rest of us to die in misery and torment as the power stars faded so too did people's faith that the father of the world would return dad had abandoned us forever i don't know why that's funny probably because of all the fatherless figure memes let's uh, go say hi to coop with a quick hey man what's up hey mario long time no see where you've been is it true that you beat the big bob -omb? cool how about a race for old time's sake it must it might be the longest race in the world since the mountain was destroyed but it should still be fun ready go Oh my god. My momentum just disappeared. I did it. Give me a star. Like old times. Huff, huff, puff. Whoa, you really are fast. You're almost inf inhumanly fast. So you're part of a hedgehog by any chance? Haha. <laughs> I haven't felt this alive in ages. You know, stuck here with only the bombs for company. I was losing all hope, but being able to race again it's really helped me feel better about. Well, everything. You made this turtle's life just that tiny bit better. Thank you so much, dude. What's that? You want my star? Well, I guess you did win the race. You deserve some kind of reward. Here you go, I suppose. Let's be sure to race again in the future. I I don't like how he was like his demeanor changed after I beat him in the race. He sounds like a little upset. I don't know. Just the way he was saying the things he said, and it's just like, hmm. Something's not right. Where is the star? Oh, there it is. Here we go! Ow. That painting got more red. I swear it was not that red when we first saw it. Here we go. There's more snow. Um. Hey, man, what's up? Oh, hi, Mario. Good to see you again. Say, can you help me solve this puzzle? Coop has vanished, and he left behind this patch of inky paint like Coop. It's red, so it must be tomato sauce, right? Can't be any other explanation. He must have been learning to cook spaghetti. Still pretty spooky, though. Must have been some creepy pasta. Why are you looking at me like that? Uh. Um. I didn't mean to do that. Well, I guess I'll go check out the other people. Bill, what do you have to say? Hi, your name's Phil Philford. The only sign made entirely of liquid rubber in a can. My brother Bill is on vacation, although I don't know where he's where since he, there's nowhere else to go. He asked me to tell you name, tell some guy named Mario that he knows his secret, and to ask him to stop. Apparently, this guy is being possessed by some other guy and is slowly destroying the world. Crazy, right? If you see this Mario person, be a pal. Pass the message on. I don't know if you can tell this, but I'm kind of stuck here for the time being. Um, I have nothing to do with whatever he just said. Hey man, what's up? Thank you for talking to me. Life's been tough since my wife's passing, but talking to you and looking after my begonias, it makes me happy. I haven't been happy for so long. Hmm, you want to start? Well, there should be one nestled in the begonias. Careful though, don't trample them. I don't know what I'd do if they wis wilted. I'll get the star later. Uh, I gotta go talk to the other guy. Hey man, what's up? Tried it all to Hades. My cannon's been filled with snow. This thing's an antique, you know. Rather like myself, I might add. Alright, let's learn more about God's return in this world. The death of each world was heralded by three signs. The skies would darken, the snows would come, and everything would weaken and fade. Darkness falls. The gateways between worlds, the paintings lost their power a long time ago. Only warp pipes linked to the faded paintings make entering them possible. It is said, too, that the point 
The painting's appearance will affect the world within it, but only one with the ability to travel outside the painting could know. This sounds like a lot like I'm God. Okay, well, let's grab the star then. Aha! I knew it would be in the middle. Uh, does that kind of trampoline? Why'd the music stop? Oh god, the music stopped. That's creepy. Oh my god, the painting changed. There's only two of them now. Is it because the other one just ex combusted in blood like that one? Alright, what's up, man? What do you have to say? Mario, Tadam told me that apparently it's Judgment Day and that I should protect my star. Crazy, right? So he knows best, so I split my star into a bunch of red coins. Six of them. But you want to know the really clever part? There are a bunch of extra fake ones scattered around too. Haha, <laughs> wait. They are the fake ones, right? Uh oh. So it's a red coin mission. Okay, well, um. Wait, are there some here? Oh, okay. I guess I'll check them out. Hi, right, Bill or Filler. Who's who's it gonna be this time? Hi, it's me, William Bordig, once again. Oh, it's you. Well, since you're here, I bet you're expecting some funny dialogue, hmm? Some hilarious joke? Well, too bad. With what you're doing to the people in this world, it should make you sick to your stomach. I hope you're proud of yourself. The only consolation I have is that, as a sign, you can't possibly harm me. Not even by ground pounding. Now piss off and don't talk to me again. Jeez. Oh, the begonias are gone, and so is, um... Yeah, that isn't me. Have you wised up and realized what's going on? I've worked it out. I know what's happening, and it's your fault, isn't it? Mario, please, if you're still there, stop this now. Don't let it go any further. I'm begging you. Ah, oh, shoot. Of course, he wised up and figured it out. Oh, I got all the real ones. Okay. Where'd the flower go? Rest in peace, Jessica Jawbomb. Died in the explosion. She survived. There's an empty space atop the makeshift gravesite, and it's your, all your fault. Oh my god. They know. And I'm gonna get all eight because I can. That's how much I'm gonna spite these guys. That's it. That's it, Todd. That's how much I'm gonna spite you. I'm collecting the fake ones. There we go. I got all eight. <laughs> that was unnecessary. Oh no! Oh, there's an invisible wall. There we go. Oh boy. Oh, the painting definitely changed. Mamma mia. What the heck? He's crying. It's Todd. Todd. Oh. Not important. Am I like full on Kara mode? Determination. Billboard is judging you for your sins. Billboard, welcome back. You've missed quite a lot. Before I talk to you, Todd. Pathetic. Alright, Todd. Oh, I didn't even read the sign last time. Dang it. Finish the job. Alright, Todd. It's you, not Mario, the one controlling him. I can't stop you. No one can. This world is dead. I know what I must do. My role in all this. Go on, take my star. You're near the end. When I go, the wall will vanish. Go to that unholy place and reflect on your sins. That's why it was built in the first place. Well, at least you stand to reason, Todd. Here we go. I'm apparently the evil one. And uh, the painting's gone. Alright, let's see it. What is the result? Alright, so technically there was five of them. So now, knowing what I know with... Uh, I'd assume I'd have to go through each of them. And if Todd said the wall disappeared behind them, the wall there disappears, then that means I could go to King bob uh thing. Alright, it's all the same. I don't need to check them. So you're three, Todd is four, and the king was five. And yep, he wasn't kidding. The wall literally disappeared. The last one. Is this my soul star? I like how the happy music still plays after all this. What is this? I guess we'll talk to them in the order they died. So, here we go. 
You finally made it. When you abandoned us all those years ago, it hurt. We existed to help you, to make you laugh, to challenge yourself, to let you have fun. You didn't want to play with us, did you? What song is this? It's not an actual Mario song, is it? I don't know. It's not in the actual game, it's obviously a remix. Our purpose in existence was to amuse you. Without that, we were nothing. When you left us, meaning left us too, we wept. But you came back. Against all the odds, you returned to play the game, to play with us. You gave us back what we had missing, hope. We may be gone now, but thanks to you, we will never be forgotten. You gave our life's purpose. We hope it was worth it. Did you have fun? This game might be over now, but as long as there are people like you out there to keep our game alive, our memory will go on. We might be long gone now, but in another sense, we're still alive in the hearts and minds of everyone here. I suppose what we're trying to say is, thank you so much for playing our game. Stand in front of the painting and the game will truly be over. Good luck. Oh, oh okay, that works too. The end. Thank you so much for playing my game. That was such a cool... Mario 64 ROM hack. I don't, I don't know what else to say. That was that was so cool. And uh, just it's just beautiful. That was really real. That was really well written. And I I don't know what to say. It's just like it was really cool. And uh, like although I was getting evil towards the end there, it's like I guess it's like well. The guys are like, you played with us, bro. You didn't forget us, and we thank you for that. Despite you have killed us, but still you... Yeah, I don't know. The message is there. It's just... Maybe I missed it a bit. I don't know what to say. What I will say is... Uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, there was a sequel to this uh, ROM hack, but uh, it's not available. The only reason I was able to even play this one was because of an archive that I had from like back when it was still available. <laughs> So yeah, unfortunately the sequel I don't I don't know how we ever how I'm ever gonna play it even if I can, but yeah I just wanted to try Super Mario 64 ROM hack because uh, this one I remember I saw it uh, a while ago and I archived it for myself because I was like oh my current PC is pretty doodoo can't even run Project 64 so when I got the new one I was like yes baby I can finally play it. and it took me this long to finally play it. Jesus anyway so yeah that's all I'm gonna say so thank you guys for watching. I hope you really enjoyed this because I definitely enjoyed it. It was really fun. And, uh, yeah. Uh, I can't leave any links in the description because uh, this is my personal file of the game. So, uh, yeah. But thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.